Hey, what's up guys, Auto Fanatics. So this is an Alfa Romeo, Giulia Quadrifoglio specific video. Now, a lot of you guys follow my content. I mention it probably five times in older videos why I don't have the carbon fiber grill overlay. Now, this was the very first mod that I did to my Giulia Quadrifoglio. And actually, if you guys wanna see a really good install video, I'm gonna link that video in the description down below. And I'm also gonna do it at the end screen annotations. Now, this is the grill that I bought from Madness Auto Works about two years ago. Now, you could see it in this sunny day, how it turned green. So I'm gonna show you guys, I got a new grill from Koshi. So you see right here, how the carbon looks good, and over here it looks green. And I was at a car show over the summer, and somebody made a comment, because when you look at this car, you have the factory carbon down there, and this down here, and when you overlay it, you see the difference? You guys see what I'm talking about right there, how it's green and it looks freaking nasty. Now, this thing was a bitch to get off because of the way I installed it. So I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna do an unboxing of the new Koshi grill. I'm gonna show you guys side by side the features. I'm not gonna show you an install video again, but I just wanna show you guys for anybody out there, don't get burned buying this stuff on eBay and watch the vendors that you're getting it for and make sure it's an authentic Koshi part. Now, there's only two vendors that I pretty much would recommend, Koshi and the OEM Alfa Romeo stuff. Now, these mirror caps, those are from Koshi. You can see there, the carbon fiber looks perfect. Everything else I got from them has been perfect. Now, this was supposedly a Koshi part, but they will not warranty it because it's been over two years, and I had to spend over 300 bucks to buy a new one. So I'm going to show you guys on the bench the cheap one, which I think is a fake or a knockoff, so you guys don't get burned, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, over on my work table. So before I unpackage this, I just want to show you this appears to be authentic Koshi from Europe. It's wrapped in the Koshi tape. Everything is in here as well. Also, this came from a company called Alfisimo. So if you guys want to check them out, he guarantees that this is an authentic Koshi part. So that's why I bought from him. Super cool guy. So it didn't come in a box. Now, when I opened up this one two years ago, this just came wrapped in bubble wrap. There's no logos on it whatsoever. And I paid about $320 for this. Now, the situation with doing these grills, you have only two options. You have the option of either ordering it with your car from the dealer, you know, when you spec out your car or finding one on the lot that has the carbon package, or you do the proper overlay, or you do the OEM part. Now, the situation with the OEM part is it requires the entire front bumper to be removed. Now, I know because my, I drive my car every day, my front bumper's got some damage on the bottom, and if I was to pull the bumper off, it's gonna turn into a full-blown respray and everything else now i'll tell you this right now this koshi part feels heavier in my hands and i'm going to show you guys in detail wow there's actually some really interesting differences and it actually has some labeling in there as far as when it was manufactured this is a hell of a better part i could you see how flimsy look, look hold on you see that and look at this so the gauge difference this is like really thin and this is much thicker. So I'm gonna get the camera off the tripod, I'm gonna clean this up, and I'm gonna show you guys specifically the details between cheap and the real stuff, so hang tight. All right, guys, so now this is the Koshi part, and you're gonna see that there's a seam where they book match the carbon right here in the middle. Now, if you look along the edges, it's all uniform. There's no seams on the edges there, and no seams there as well. It's also a thicker part. The carbon weave is actually different, because I actually sent photos of mine to Koshi, and you can see it there on the table, it's pretty obvious the differences between the weave. Just get in closer. Okay, so the parts are definitely different. So if you look here, that weave matches the OEM weave. Okay, so we go grab the cheap one, and you can see how the clear coat was not UV resistant and it kind of got crazy. So if you look carefully up here, you see how the cheap one has the carbon folded over and seamed over there? So it's got a seam on both ends, here and here, and it also does not have a seam in the middle. So it's manufactured completely different. Actually, a lot of this knockoff stuff coming from Taiwan and China could be black carbon, um, not carbon fiber, but black fiberglass, and they knock it off all the time. But you guys can see there. So over here, it looks decent, but we're gonna lay them on top of each other, and you can see dimensionally, the weave is totally different. See that there? Top is the fake one. Bottom is the Koshi one that matches the OEM. 
okay? So I'm shooting this video, so a lot of you guys email me all the time with your alphas all over the world as far as who do I you know, suggest for carbon fiber, and I'm just doing this as a forewarning video so you guys don't get burned spending a couple hundred bucks by some vendor that's knocking it off saying it's authentic and it's really not. So this is a pretty cool comparison, seeing them both on the table. You can see how yellow this is, looks horrible. So if it wasn't for me going to that car show back over the summer and somebody say, hey, why is your carbon turn green? And I was like, you know what, that same day I ripped it off the car. And I was just, you know, enjoying the car without the carbon fiber grill for a number of months. So now is a beautiful day and I'm gonna get that installed for you today. So you can see it there. Also the width, okay, seems wider. So we're gonna go over the car right now. Let's just see how it fits. We'll do a test fit. It actually has a much better fit. It's a much tighter fit. Look at this here. So when I did the other one, I had to use cable ties and, and cinch it in. This one has a much better fit and finish. So you can see that there. So, oh, dude, I'm so happy I got it back on the car. So that's pretty much it, guys. I just want to show you guys a before and after. See the difference? How it matches the OEM front active arrow, okay? That's it there. So I'm going to get this installed today, and uh, that's pretty much it. So you'll be seeing the carbon fiber grill on my upcoming future videos, no matter what I do to the Alpha. So just curious, if anybody out there wants this, uh, 100 bucks shipped to your door anywhere in the United States. You could use it as is if this doesn't bother you. You could vinyl wrap it. You could scuff it up and paint it satin black, or you could do body color, whatever you want. It's definitely worth something to somebody. Before I throw it in the trash or before I throw it on the Auto Fanatic web shop, Send me a DM, send me an email. If you guys want this, 100 bucks shipped to your door, I'll send you an invoice through PayPal and we'll get it going. Also, another thing too, uh, the Koshi kit came with the surround. I'll show you here. This is for the actual round emblem underneath the grill. Now, I remember when I bought this, this was an option. Now, apparently it comes as a complete kit. So we'll go over to the car and I'll show you guys that if anybody's interested. I mean, this isn't really necessary but you know what it actually dresses it up really nicely so see that there awesome man so that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching this video please subscribe to the auto fanatic channel stay tuned for more alfa romeo content and for any of you guys that want to mod the cars either do oem or do koshi hit up alfisimo uh like i said this is authentic it came authentic it fits perfect night and day difference from having it in your hands and seeing the weave pattern this is the real deal this is not that cheap stuff so Thanks for watching this video. See you guys soon. And I'm going to get this installed right now and enjoy the rest of my day. Take care, guys.